But now we're on Tzad, Tzadi Omid Beis. Omalei Rav Chizu says to Rava, by Leosvach, I really had in mind to ask you from the following list of, of cases. But I'm not going to do so because I realize they're all Shevi Altas. So you have an answer to all these questions. Number one is the case of an RL. We're talking about a Ger, who is Geyer, on Erev Pesach. And the question is, can we check the carbon Pesach on behalf of this Ger? And Beis Hill is going to object, and he's going to prohibit checking the carbon Pesach on behalf of the Ger that was misguided on Erev Pesach, because he's afraid that maybe next year, if he's Tomei Tumas Mess on Erev Pesach, He's going to say, well, last year I needed Gerus and I was Tovel. I went into the mikveh and I ate the Karm Pesach immediately. So now, also, when I'm Tovel Messi, a year later, I'll be Tovel at Erev Pesach and I'll eat the Karbon immediately. He doesn't realize that last year, when he was Makabal Tuma, he wasn't Makabal Tuma at all because he was still a guy. His status was that of a guy. And that's why he was allowed to eat the Pesach immediately. So Basil was afraid that and, and instituted that any ger who's this guy needs to wait seven days until he can be mocked with the carbon pesach. But we see clearly the Chacham are Oker and Dover Menatora, because Menatora, this RL, this ger, is obligated in the carbon pesach. The Rabbanan said, no, he's not obligated in the carbon pesach. Then we get to Hazor. The Rabbanan made a Shvus of Hazor, they prohibited Hazor and Shabbos. So imagine if the seventh day of Atomi Mesa's purification was on Chavez, and it's Erev Pesach. And through this Hazor, he'll become Tor, and that night he can eat from the Karb Pesach. No, the Rabbanan prohibited Hazor and Chavez, and it's Nirike Mesake Mona, because it's part of the process of Tara. And therefore, by suspending and prohibiting Hazor and Chavez, he will not be able to bring the Karb Pesach. So Yesh Koch Viyad Chacham, Laka Domina Torah, the Ismail. In a case where you have a Tino that has to be circumcised on Shabbos, but unfortunately the Ismail that we need for the Sakin of Mila is in a place where there's no Eruv, which means you have two Chatzeros or, a, or two Gagos or a Gag and a Chatzer. And he did not make an Erev, an Erev Chatzero. So we have a violation of the Rabbanon in carrying the Ismail through one Chatzar into another Chatzar, or from a Gag to a Chatzar, or a Chatzar to a Gag, etc., etc. The Rabbanon is saying, forget about the Mila. The Mila will not happen. Why? Because we will not allow you to violate the Isid Rabbanon of Erev Chatzeros, the Rotsad Rabbanon. We see again, if he has a begot shall pishton, and the Torah says he's got to put sitzis of, of semer and attach it to the begot, the Rabbana are not going to allow you to do that. Why? They're afraid that maybe he'll put the sitzis on at night, and he's part to meet sitzis based on the poskarisa mozo, and he's nana mikalayim shalobachas mitzvah. So they allowed him to wear it without tzitzis. So he's got a begot shel pishna and he's wearing it without tzitzis. So Tosis asks the following kasha, wait a minute. If you're allowing him to wear this sadin without tzitzis, then it's already kumvase because he's going to put on the towels. And Tosis answers, no, it's called shevi altasa because he's not chayv in tzitzis until after He's wearing the begot. I, the brach is lisatev, which sounds like the mitzvah is putting it on. No, lisatev means lios ma'utav pitzitzis. And then we have kivsei atzeres. These are the kvasim that accompany the shtei lechem on shruos, which is a carbon tzibur, and it was shechted on Shabbos. Shalol l'shem shalmei tzibur, but rather l'shem ola. And the Gemara Beitz on the Avchaf of the days records the halacha that the Chachamim say that he should not be Zorik the Dam because of Shvus. And he's going to be Oker no less than three mitzvot asay. Zrikas Adam, Haktar Seimurim, and Achilas 
Basar HaKorban. So you see the Chacham or Oker Dov Min HaTorah, but again, it's going to be V'Shevi Al Taseh. No problem. And leave over the door for 10 o'clock, right? Uh, uh, Judy's going to take care of it. All right. This show for the Lulav, right? This is the famous Gzair uh, de Rav in Sukkim and Gibel and in other places in Chas that we don't blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah Fitzchal on Shabbos. We don't take the Lulav on the first day of Sukkis. If that day overlaps with Shabbos, we're afraid that he'll carry it for Amos Rav to ask a Bucky how to blow the shofar. Or I had to take the lulav with the nanuim. Nanuim are very complicated. And now the Rabbanan are being oker, a mitzvah minat Torah, because of the gzera shemi avirenu dalad amas. But hashta the shonislan, the shevi altase. Now that you've told me that when the chachamim were oker, a din, do rice or a mitzvah do rice, the shevi altase lo meeker, that's not considered akira. He said, for Kulu Nami, all the cases that I wanted to ask you, which means Orel, Hazar, Ismail, Sada Mitzitzis, Kimse Yatzer, Shofar Valulav, all this is Shevi Alta Sedinu. Toshma, I'm going to prove to you the Yeshkoch Viat Chacham, Laker Dovman, Ator Bekum Vasei. A love Tishma'un. The Torah commands us to listen and to obey the command of the Navi. In Dvar and Perak Yudchetz, is a filu omelcha var alachas to call Mitzvah Torah Kagon Eliyo Barakam. He was makriv on a bummer. And at that point, hakrova on a bummer was prohibited. His hakrova was a violation of an Isra lav of Shkutei Chutz by shechting a carbon outside the base of Migdash. And it's a chiv kares to be male a karmon chutzah beis amigdash. And yet Eliyahu B'Kari Kamal did exactly that. And why? Because hakol if he sho'ah shamalo. He did it because of the pressing need of the hour to lafuke, to undermine the belief in Baal in the Avodah Zorah. And if he shah, the, the Navi could teach us and could legislate us to be okir dover minat Torah b'kum vaseh, like in the case of Shkut Echutz. So you see that yesh koch yad chachom lakir dover minat Torah b'kum vaseh, it's a more answer shiny awesome, t'ksiv elav tishmun. The Torah revealed to us that when it comes to a Navi, a Navi has a right of haras shah, to be okir dover minat Torah. So more answer belig marine, Let's make an equation between the Chachamim and the Novi. Where it is Migdar Milza shiny. That Enochinami, you're right. Even a, even the Chachamim could be Oker Dov Torah, and even Bekum Vasei. If it's Takon Lefisha, it's the Migdar Milza. It's like Eliel Barakarma. And that was Migdar Milza to be Oker Dov Torah in order to give a response to the Ov De Avodah and Enochinam, we're going to derive from this a Yesh Kop Yachom Laker Dov Torah, even Bekum Vaseh, but Lefisha, and it has to be Lemigdar Milsa, Legeder Ule Takana. And they can do this Lefisha, but not Leol. Toshma, a husband sends his get with a Shliach to his wife, and before the get reaches her hands, Bitlo. He walks into Bezdin, wherever he is on the other side of the globe, and without notifying his wife with a uh, you know, social media, he's mevato the get, and that's a violation of the takana of Rabbi Gamliel. I believe it's in Git Lamid Gimel that he was misakin that a person should not be mevato the get in front of a Bezdin without the knowledge of his wife, because otherwise she might not know that he was mevato the get, and she'll go ahead and get have a relationship with another man. Is mevutal b'dieved if he was mevato the get shalobi adias ha'isha the get is bata even though he violated a takana and who holds this way that's the rebbe rabbi shimon gamliel omer eno yachol lo levatlo v'lo lo osif al tno 
We're not going to allow him to be mevatel to get even in front of a bezdin. We're not going to allow him to add a tonight to the get him Cain, ma bezdin, ma koch bezdin yofe. What's the koch? This takvan of Gamliel, he was misakin not to be mevatel. And then you're going to tell me that the bittel is, is effective? For a hocha with the rice of bottle, I get. Before the takon of Rabbi Gamliel, the Torah law had it that he could be mevatel to get as long as it hasn't reached her hands. So that means on a Doraisa level, when he went ahead, he was mevatel to get against Takon Ragamliel. To get his bottle. And now you're going to tell me, no, the get is not bottle. You're going to be matir a get and recognize and validate a get that's not worth the paper it's written on. And as a result, you're going to be matir an HS each. This is a case of kumvase. And the Gemara answer is a very famous Gemara. I think it appears three times in Shaz. Man de Makadish, Adaita Abana Makadish. When a person is Makadish in Isha, he makes a declaration, Kedas Moshe of Israel. Is Afkenu Abana le Kedushim in there. I always wondered, and I think I mentioned this before, what happens if he makes a declaration, I'm being Mekadosh Hazisha Shalal Das Chachomim. I'm not interested in the Chachomim. He didn't say the magic words, Kedas Moshe Yisrael. I don't know. But let's assume he said Kedas Moshe Yisrael. It's like a Tanai of Im Tertzi Abba, Im Tertzu Chachomim. The Chachomim said, we don't want it. And they were okay, the Kedush. I understand how the Rabbanon have the ability to be okay the Kedushin if he was Makadesh Bekaspa, because we have a principle called Efker Bezdin Hefker. And the Rabbanon therefore could decide that the most that he gave her, the Kesa, he gave her for Kedushin, those were most Matana. Over, over, Kaddish be beer, my equal of name, or hack their bottom be mafkia, the mice of beer, a mice of kedushin, and say that this kedushin is not valid. So the more answers, or Vashi says to Avina. Even in the case of Makadish Bibia, he was Makadish al Das Chachomim, Kidas Moshe Israel, and Tavu Rabbana Bilosa Bilosus. Now, exactly how this operates and what the mechanics is, as if to say, a man is going to be Baal Ish al Isha, shame Kedushin, but he makes it tonight that if the Rabbana want it, fine. If they don't want it, then it should be a Bilas Nus. I wonder what that means. I guess it means that they're nullifying the Kedushin and Mimela the Pius of Piusnus. But if that be the case, what was Gemara's Havamina? They already established that called the Makadish Adaita Rabbana Makadish. So why not apply that to Bia as well? But the answer is no. The Bia itself inherently is a Maisa Kedushin. That you can't be Mafkia. You can't do what you can do to Kesev, make it into Mos Matana. So what's Gemara answering? That Rabbana and Shavula Bilas Nus. So new that there's a category called Bilas Nus, and the Rabbana could decide whether it's the Ilas of Bila Lachemichus for Kedushin or it's a Bilas Nus. Toshmama Rabbi Lozar, Ben Yaakov Shamati, Shed Bezdin Makin Vionshin Shalom and Torah. Imagine that Bezdin could beat someone else and possibly even put him to death, and the Torah doesn't. Doesn't give him that onish. That's an Akira Bakumva say. Velo Lavra al Divre Torah, not only in a case where this man, this criminal, violated the Torah law, and then we're going to give him an onish like Malchus of Musa, El Afilu, even if Lasso Siagla Torah and the man violated a Durabanan, we can still beat him till he's blue in the face, and maybe even put him to death. You hear this? You're going to put to death a person for violating a siag durabana. 
and my sibo the mech chiroch of Allah Suspe Shabbos may have won a view of the basin of the skull, ooh, lump nature roy lakach, el shashot srikhalaka. Shuv my sibo the mech chitiach be ishto takasate eno, be view of the basin of the ilki kua, lump nature roy lakach, el shashot srikhalaka. So we have these cases where a person was riding a horse on Shabbos at the time of the Greeks. And the Gemara Beit Sadaf Lamed Bav establishes a shvus of Lorochen al Gabibayim v'Shabbos, and they stoned him. They put him to death because at that time there were Yevonim Zeros against Am Yisrael to be to the mitzvahs, and the mitzvahs became zuyos beinayin. They were parts in Bavera misal umizalzlin b'shvisas haShabbos. So in order to kedei lamed v'teretz et miru chachamim lenos shvonish chamur af. The Easter, the Rabbana like Rechiv al Gabi Suspit Shabbos, or a person who violated the laws of Tznius and he had a sexual act publicly, and it was Begoli, it was a Maisa Pritzus, and uh, they stoned him. Shashot Tzrichel Kach, because there was so much Pritzus by Rais, then the Chacham took a very strong, harsh stand. But we see clearly, Yeshvah, Kopiat, Chacham, Lakadom, and Atora, and the Gemara answers, Migdar, Milsa, Shiny. We go back to the Alfusa from. Elio and Novi Elif Tishmun, and Elif Tishmun now is expanded to include even the Chachamin. Mishnah says, Lo Zev, Lo Zev, Metamid Lo, that if she was married to a Kohen, and then she got word that her husband died, and then she married another Kohen, neither of them will bury her, because a Kohen is enjoined for being Metame. To a mess. Now, wait a second. I understand the second coin. He's not married, though, so for sure he doesn't have to bear it. But what about the first coin on a derisive level? He's obligated to uh, to bury his wife. So, ask me, Nolan, what's the source that the Baal Harishon, if he's a coin, is not allowed to be Metamita? Dechsev, the parasha says, and this is an MR, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah. Ki im l'shei a karov elov. A coin is allowed to be metami to one of his close relatives. And we interpret the word she'ero zu ishto. So he's metami to his wife. To bury her. Uksiv lo yitami baal biyam of lechelo. Which sounds like a baal is not allowed to be metami le ishto. Lo yitami baal. And the reconciliation has to be at Yech Baal she mitame v'yech Baal she eno mitame or keitzad mitame uli ishto kshero v'yeno mitame uli ishto psula. So in our Mishnah, where she went ahead and she got married to another man, and therefore she's a sural bylaw rishon. So therefore, we're going to say that her bylaw rishon is not mitame law. Because she is an Icha Psula. The love is ever says, Akoimitsiyasa. Neither the first Baal or the second Baal can take possession over her finding lost objects, found lost objects. Time of my Omer Abbonon, Mitsiyasi Isha Labaila. Ki Echilo Tevile Eva. The only reason why the Chacham made this Takana that when she finds a lost object, it reverts to her husband. That's only in order to keep the marriage intact and to avoid Eva, Mariva, and so forth. But Hacha, to heavy lay, Eva v. Eva. Let's create friction and tension in the marriage. Our goal is to terminate this marriage. And then the Mishnah says, the Ein Bermaisi Odel. The Balarishan or the Sheni can collect her wages. And the explains the reasoning. Why did they establish that a married woman's investments and her earl- her earnings, I should say, and her wages? Because he's feeding her and sustaining her, and therefore, quid per quo, they gave him in return. And by the way, in some cases, especially in contemporary life, he gets the better, the better of the two. Mizonos is ten thousand dollars, and she's a psychiatrist. She gets paid five hundred dollars for every hour that she's 
you know, got a patient on the couch and she has an annual salary of a half million dollars. Um, I see a dying by far supersede her Mizonos. She's like low maintenance. But that's the way they're abundant established in the Ksuba. But here, in the case where she's Asura Olo, is Keva de Mizoni Lesle, she cannot collect Mizonos, is my Siyadeh, don't come and collect her my Siyadeh. For low mayfriend in the rare time of my Omer, upon a mal mayfriend in Kadesh Lotiskane, the Torah, this is an interesting case where the Gemara goes into the Tame Mikra. Why did the Torah give the Baal dominion over on the Torah? She might take a nether of what's called Ini Nefesh. Like, for example, she takes a nether, she won't take a bath or she won't uh, put on cosmetics. And that's called Ini Nefesh to the Baal. He becomes uh, a little bit repulsed by it. But Hacha here, Tiskana with Tiskana. The Mishnah says, I saw Bas Yisrael Nifsala Minakahuna. Ubas Levi Min Rishon. So the Gemara asks here on the top of Tzadi Aleph, Shita, for sure, Bas Yisrael is possible. Min Akahuna, she's a Zona because she had a Be'ila Psula. And not only that, the Gemara is asking, why did the Tan have to bother telling you this then? So you're going to say that Bas Yisrael Nifsalis Min Akahuna is not a Chidush. So what, what, how do we read the Mishnah then? So the Gemara answers, Bas Levi no Meiser It's only an introduction to the real Chiddush that is a psul of Bas Yisrael to Maser, which, again, as far as Kahuna is concerned, for sure she's psul. Frek the Gemara, Bas Levi mena Maser mi Mifsula, Biznus. Is there a locha that a Bas Levi becomes a Zona and therefore she cannot Receive Maser with regard to Maser, there's no psul of Nivala the Ilas Nus. And I'll prove it to you. Vatan, you have a price that says Levia should niche base. If a Levia was taken captivity, and we have to be conscious that there was a rape situation with a Boel with a guy. Oh, or the case of Baslevich and Nivala the Ilas Nus. Let's say, for example, she had a be with a guy or an Evid or a Chalal. Is no She still can get Masa reach on and eat it. So you see that a Bas Levi is not Nifsalus Mina Maser as a result of Bilas Nus and where answers are Marav Shechis Knosa. You're right. That according to the strict letter of the law, the Bilas Nus here, the Bilas Nus would not pass her for Maser. But the Rabbanan instituted a penalty because she relied on the testimony of one flimsy aid. And she got married to someone else based on that testimony. Now we see that her husband's alive. So they instituted a knas in which they excluded her from, from Maser. This is where we're going to stop for today. Have a great day.